This is Illinois State Senator Tom Bennett with an update on Monday, October 28th. After a very long delay, testimony in the corruption trial of former Illinois House Speaker Mike Madigan got underway this past week as federal prosecutors laid out their case that the political leader engaged in a racketeering and bribery conspiracy. Madigan, who was the longest serving State House Speaker in the nation's history, is charged with using his power and influence to enrich himself and his associates. Madigan's close confidant, former lawmaker turned lobbyist Mike McLean, is also on trial with Madigan for his role in the alleged criminal enterprise. Much of the case focuses on alleged bribes made by ComEd and AT&T in the form of contracts and no-show jobs for associates of Mike Madigan. A significant part of the prosecution's evidence comes from wiretapped recordings which have been played in court. The defense for Madigan and McLean has so far worked to portray the evidence as nothing more than legal lobbying efforts while trying to discredit witnesses for the prosecution. Attorneys on both sides predicted that the trial could last for three months. Deer season is well underway, and for folks who live in more rural areas, it's important to be aware. According to the Illinois Department of Transportation, last year there was 14,862 crashes involving deer, with 663 resulting in injuries and 7 leading to fatalities. Being alert during the fall into early winter is critical. IDOT says more than 41% of deer-related crashes occurred in the months of October, November, and December, with November posing the greatest risk. Transportation officials recommend if a driver does hit a deer, pull off onto the shoulder, turn on your hazard lights, and call 911. Well, it just so happens that today, October 28th, is National First Responders Day. According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, an estimated 4.6 million people serve as career and or volunteer first responders in the nation. Whether they are firefighters rushing into burning buildings, police officers maintaining public safety, or paramedics providing life-saving care, these individuals respond in times of crisis for the safety and well-being of others, often putting their own lives at risk. They truly are heroes and it's appropriate to honor their courage and commitment protecting and supporting our communities. And thank you. For more news and to sign up for my newsletter, please visit SenatorTomBennett.com and on social media at Facebook.com forward slash Senator Tom Bennett. I'm State Senator Tom Bennett, working full-time to represent you.